Hi everyone, today's learning intention is to multiply using the rounding and compensating strategy. Our problem is 27 times 6 and our aim in using this strategy is to find a way of turning it into a multiplication problem involving easy numbers to deal with. So if we look at the number 26, we can see that it can easily be rounded up to 30 by adding 3. And 30 is going to be a much easier number to multiply by 6 than 27. So we're going to add 3 to change it into 30 groups of 6. So now you have as, have as a first step, the rounding step, a new calculation, which is 30 times 6. But hey, that means that we'll have 6 more groups of 3 than we're supposed to have in our answer, unless we now take the step, second step, which is the compensating step, by taking them off again. And so this is how we do it. So we have our first step, 30 times 6 and because we're going to end up with an answer of more than we should we're going to compensate by subtracting or taking away the three extras multiplied by 6 because remember we've added on 3 6 times and so now we're going to have the easy part, which is 30, or 3 times 10, times 6. So 6 threes are 18, times 10 is 180. Minus the extra 18 that we put on when we rounded up to 30. And that subtraction leads us, leaves us with the answer of 162. So you can see that by rounding up, we were going to end up with an answer that was larger than it should have been before we rounded. And so we compensate by subtracting the extra three lots of six. Now let's take a look at what happens when decimal numbers are involved. So our problem here we have 4.3 times 8. Now this time, looking at the 4.3, I can see that it's nearer to 4 than it is to 5, so I'm going to round it down to 4, which means in fact that when we multiply 4 by 8, our answer is going to be less than it would have been if we'd multiplied 4.3 by 8. So we're going to have to compensate by remembering to add on after we've multiplied 4 times 8. At the end we're going to compensate by adding on the 0 0.3 that we took off for each of those 8 sets. So let's see how we follow through with that. 4 times 8 is 32, minus 8 times 3 is 24, so our number is 2.4. And so our answer is, oopsie, hang on, and I've just about made a mistake there. Remember we haven't multiplied by enough, so we've got to add on, not subtract the compensating piece at the end. So 32 plus 2.4 is 34.4 and I really hope that you noticed Mrs Annan making a mistake there too. Right, finally before you join your teacher I'd like you to try these. We have 584 times 7. They can be thinking about what you can round 584 to. And then, so that's A and B is 12.7 times 
times four. Thank you.